Hello, I'm Max Sedekertz, the founder of Setupa. Thank you for using Setupa. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Setupa with Archicad, but please also watch the basic tutorials if you have not already. So here on the left, I have Archicad 26, and on the right, we have Setupa with a project pre-configured. But before we can actually start using Setupa properly with Archicad, we need to download the plugin. To do that, click your name or manage, and go to plugins, Archicad, and then select whichever version of the plugin that suits your software or which um, Archicad you're using currently. Then please follow the instructions depending on your operating system to install the plugin. All right, that's it. But now we have the plugin installed. It's a very simple interface, which is basically just one button. So let's go back to our project. Now having the project selected, we'll just edit it a little bit to get only the buildings we want. And after that, we go to CAD here and find the Archicad files. Now just to start off, we'll just download one of them and select a nice coordinate system. There we go, we get our file. And then in setup on go ahead and find the newly downloaded file and select the map.sctp file and click open a little dialog will pop up asking how you wish to place the model in your project the default is to place it just at the origin but uh, we usually recommend uh, that you select the second option here in which case also the location project location is overwritten this will help you down uh, help you with um, exporting ifc files as well as importing more data later the third option relies on actually having used the second option previously and the fourth option is an advanced um, advanced option for advanced users so let's go with this one click load and then we'll have to wait a little while so after a while our weight is rewarded and we we get a bunch of data so here for example we have now we can see that we have the, the buildings there we have uh, some terrain in the background and, uh, and all kinds of other 2d data as well as a, uh, well in this case a vgs uh, 84 coordinate system grid and uh, some trees let's head into the 3d view and we can see that um, we have uh, we have here our well the 3d view of what we just uh, downloaded Oops. there we go so we see the autophoto is correctly mapped on top of the on top of the uh, the terrain which is a mesh and we have uh, trees and buildings and all of this imported as well that's how you get uh, data into set into Archicad from Setup. One thing to note here, because we were selected the second option, um, is that now if we go to project preference, location settings, we can actually see that the project settings have been correctly configured, and we have the SWRF coordinate system even set up here, and um, and other kinds of settings as well and the north angle of the project also has been configured. Another thing to note is maybe the layers. Everything, uh, all the layers can be configured in Setupo. And um, for example, the, we have a layer here with buildings and it's called buildings.setupo. So if you just hide that one, all the buildings will disappear. That's the, that's the basics of uh, bringing, bringing data into Archicad. Now, one thing we might note here is that we have a very detailed and a quite uh, quite intense uh, mesh here, which might be a bit hard to work with, perhaps. And uh, so we might want to download mm, less detailed models. Now, there's two ways to really do this. One is to, in here in Setup, to use the Alt key to select a hole in the model where you where you will be making, well, where we want the the better detailed data for example over there 
and uh, then over here you'll select this option dynamic to get this type of view and now if we go into the settings we can actually um, see that there's two tolerances here we have now inner and outer tolerance so if we for example put, put it like this and click download we'll get a different type of file this time let's undo the import of that one Let's go import it again and there you could also already perhaps see what we wanted to see that we now have a model that has a lot of data points here in the selected area and a lot less in the other parts of the model another way to do to do this is to download two models instead and we might for example using the holes method here so now we first we download the outer part for example with a with a, with a low setting like this and now make sure to get the ortho photo in the outer download that way it it will work nicely so we'll download the outer part with a photo and a low, low detail and now we'll download the inner part we'll just click this with this button here to select the inner area and then head back here and now make sure you have the photo disabled and the inner tolerance some kind of high value that you're pleased with i also recommend disabling the grids because you won't need to have a double grids in your model and there we go we have two files right so then after that we import first the outer selection the five and use the second option so there we go but now we see we have a gaping hole where where the detailed area should be so let's just go ahead and import again the smaller one and this time we'll take the third option and as you can see the second data matches quite perfectly and also along the edges the data is also quite quite nicely uh, matching as you can see by the triangles if you go to the 3d view we can see now that we have a pretty seamless uh, pretty seamless interface there with high detail data in the middle and less details on the outside now if we wanted to uh, to make the get the ortho photo also on the inner the inner se selection it's no problem you just go here and search for ortho and you find the material ortho photo here just select that one and it should seamlessly match there we go that's uh, two different ways of getting multi-accuracy models uh, into into your your archicad very very easily all right i think that uh, concludes the archicad plugin uh, tutorial thank you for watching